real life. Are you kind of looking for a new home? Are you a first time home buyer? Well, if you are, we have some great information for you from two lovely people from Team Metherall, sales representatives extraordinaire. We have Lauren Fogazzi and we have Dan Van Loon. Welcome to Georgina Life. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Happy to be here this morning. So Wonderful. great. So great yes. to see you. Yes. We need this information. Yes. Because <laughs> yes. things have changed since have. I bought my first house in 1990. <laughs> Mortgage rates at 11 and three quarters. Right. But yes. apparently uh, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Perhaps I'm a little bitter. That's why I'm a renter now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So where do we begin? I mean, if people are out there and they want to buy their first home, their first time home buyers, it's kind of daunting for them. I mean, where do you start? How do you go about this? What are, the, what are your first steps? It is daunting. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. going to be one of your biggest purchases of your life. Yeah. So exactly. you have to build a team. Once you start saving for your, your uh, down payment, your deposit, get yourself a good accountant and he'll help you put together those numbers okay. right. Right. to get to that right. deposit number. Get yourself a mortgage broker. Right. He'll tell you what you can afford, what your down payment's gonna be, what your daily or monthly uh, payment's gonna be. Mm -hmm. right. Find yourself a good real estate agent, somebody you like, somebody you can work with, somebody you can see all these houses with and, and they trust. Can, and trust, yeah. big time. Mm -hmm. Finally, you're going to need a real estate lawyer. He's going to put together the package oh for God. you. Yeah. I'm scared already. Yeah. <laughs> and then you still got to get a home inspector. Somebody's going to go through that house that right. you want to buy to make sure everything's good. True. Wow. That is true. I think we even have all of those steps listed so yes. that people can actually see in front of them, like, okay, these are the steps that we need to, we need to do, and here they are. Um, yeah. yeah, because it's so important. And when you said, you know, get yourself a real estate agent, and you said one that you can trust, mm -hmm. so true, because you gotta jive, right? You gotta know, because a real mm -hmm. estate agent has to ask the right questions, right? Exactly. Right. And yes. I always suggest to interview at least three. You know, ask your friends right. for referrals, see who's active in the community, and then, you know, schedule an appointment and just interview them. See who you mesh with, who your personality goes along with, and it's very important. That, is, yeah. that mm -hmm. is huge. I mean, yeah. I was very, very fortunate. I mean, back then, there weren't a lot of realtors in the little neighborhood mm -hmm. that I was we were buying into but I was lucky that someone said oh we know someone who's <laughs> gonna good. be the fit with you yes. 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 True. That helps. it True. does it makes a difference yeah well and knowing what you have to spend and knowing the market mm -hmm. that's those are huge I mean I know when I bought my first home it was one of those things where you think okay well okay down payment what do I use for a down payment I mean how do I get a down payment I mean there must be some new things out there I mean are there special accounts that you can you save in or can you borrow you know from one account how do people do this how do they get a down payment well the down payment structure it's broken up in certain ways so you have five percent of you know the first five hundred thousand okay and then the difference <laughs> <laughs> all right and Lauren know, you're killing me okay <laughs> and, I guess worse, actually. <laughs> um, and then you have um, ten percent on the difference from five hundred thousand up to a million okay. mm -hmm. and then any difference from over a million you add twenty percent on to that so and that's why it's good to always talk to your mortgage broker mm -hmm. um, and accountant to you know, figure out what you can afford and what it's going to cost you at the end of the day. Um, right. Yes. Oh, wow. boy. <laughs> All right. So if I've been, like, saving and I have money uh, invested somewhere, like an RSP or whatever, can I use any of that? The government's got a new program coming out this April. Okay. It's supposed to be, I believe, in April. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a first-time homebuyer savings account. Okay. Ooh. You're allowed to contribute eight thousand dollars a year as okay. a first-time home buyer okay. to this account up to a maximum of forty thousand. <laughs> so if you or your spouse are both pre first time home buyers, yes. you can save forty thousand each. Oh, okay. And then attribute it toward the purchase of your new home. Oh my God! My first home was sixty-eight thousand. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's tax-free going in and going out too. I better remember. Now that. that's, okay. important. that's important, mm -hmm. that's Georgina. So tax-free going in, going out. That's yeah. really that's very important. That is yeah. very, very important. Really important. Yeah. I know. And 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 I'll apologize now, but I remember back in the day, we went to our 
bank manager mm -hmm. versus a mortgage broker because there was some question about whether the mortgage broker was who you went to when you couldn't work with your bank. But it sounds like that's different now. There are mortgage brokers in the banks. A lot of banks will offer, you know, Within mortgage the specialists. Bank. Yeah, Thank and then they you. have Good. their own I, want, rights. I yeah. wanted to make that distinction because yes. it, it's it, good. It, wasn't painted as a necessarily pretty picture. It was if you can't get a mortgage through your bank, go to your mortgage broker. Mm -hmm. So it's good to hear that that's not yeah. sort of the last resort, if you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's so a lot key. of different levels of mortgage brokers, yes. too. You have the bank, and then you can also go to like your private lenders and things like that. Yes. But that, we'll get into that different yes. show. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a whole different, yeah. yes. True. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, when you're doing this by yourself, too, let's say you're sitting down with your spouse and you're looking at your whole your whole financial situation, I mean, there are things that you can do. There are mortgage calculators, right, that you yes. can use online even. I've <clears throat> seen them online. Yes. What do they do? So uh, we really like Realtor.ca. It's very, you know, it's the go-to website. Um, and it's, it's pretty interactive. You can put in, you know, the asking price. You Google, you know, where you, if you bank with TD, bank uh, Google TD mortgage rates enter in the mortgage rate and you know your amortization period and it'll give you a breakdown of what your monthly payments could be now this isn't supposed to replace a mortgage right, agent or broker we definitely suggest I mean you would have to go to one but this yes. just kind of gives you a little bit of a layout and then based on the information that you put into um, the calculator it'll give you you know your cash needed because right. yes. it's more than just a down payment you yes. know you have the closing costs lawyer fees um, and then now thank goodness we're in and the age of the home inspection again, so um, you know where you're going to have to pay your home inspector yes. um, as the buyer of the property. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a breakdown. Well, I like that idea of the calculator because uh, oftentimes, I mean, I know I wanted houses that there was not a chance <laughs> that we could ever <laughs> afford to buy. Oh, look at those two. So there was a <laughs> certain amount yeah. of, you know. A, a conversation that took place so I wasn't constantly disappointed. <laughs> so to have that mortgage calculator, to have some sense of, mm -hmm. of where you truly are in terms of what you can get. Exactly. You know, yeah. if, if you can afford 500000 don't be looking at a million. Yeah, Not that I can wrap my head around a million <laughs> dollars. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> but... Yeah, but once you know what you're looking at in terms of what you can afford, I mean, when you work with your real estate agent, they can send you like listings, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So, so that that's the great a, a thing of living in the digital age now. <laughs> right. And there's so many tools that realtors um, have their hands on. Yes. Yes. So um, you know our lead system we have a great uh, listing alert process. Perfect. So we, we go. yeah, we can really pinpoint what you're looking for. And then, you know, in addition to us scouring listings and, yes. um, you know, exclusives, we'll also send you houses that have been newly listed that day. So you're not going to miss anything yes. just on the off chance that we do. You know, yeah. you'll get it to your email and let's say, you know, you mm -hmm. see something that you like, you can um, bring it to us. And then we also have something called market reports, which are um, really beneficial. They can pinpoint an area on a map, you know, your neighborhood or where you want to purchase in. Mm -hmm. And it'll give you a breakdown of, you know, what's newly listed, what's newly mm -hmm. sold with average prices, average sale price, how long it's been on the market. So you can, you know, really know what's happening, what's going on, yeah. and you don't feel so blindsided. Yeah. And I'm there was, I don't know about you, but when we were looking for ours, I got really excited about going through that process on my own and then going to the realtor and saying, well, what about this? And chances are he knew something about that property, too. Yeah, no, it's, it's so, good. Yeah. I mean, and so if we want to do that, we would like these lovely people to find us a house. <laughs> How do people get a hold of you in order to do that? Um, well, you can find me on social media. I am on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. I got a really good handle, Georgina's underscore realtor. I don't know how I scored that one, but I did. <laughs> and um, I got, you know, my cell phone, which is always on me, always on. Okay. Uh, always ready to go. Yeah, or a email address. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Super. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You. Great information. Oh, that's fabulous. Great information. information. Thank you both for being on Thanks the show. For writing Thank us. you very much. Georgina, don't go away. Lots more coming up on Georgina Life.